what's up? My name is Courtney and I run Electric Fox Thrift on Instagram. Um, I also have a Depop and Poshmark, which I can link below. It's mostly the same items. Um, the pricing may vary just based on the shipping costs and everything like that. So I did a poll on my Instagram to see if you guys wanted to see a thrift haul of this massive thrift that I um, did today. And a lot of you said yes, some of you said no. If you didn't want to watch it, don't watch it. So without further ado, let's get started. At the first store, um, Waterfront Thrift, I picked up this maxi skirt and it's like a plum color with just like autumn um tones in there as well with the dark green and the goldish orange color and white and it's got slits on either side and i just thought this would be really cute in the fall with just even like a basic um solid color shirt and maybe like a jean jacket or you know something like that hey hunk hey <laughs> hunk likes it so i picked that up um next i got this white button down top and i just keep seeing these like when i'm looking on pinterest for inspiration for like fall styles i know you would think this is more like spring or summer but i see this a lot in like fall and it's got this like like dainty floral print on it and yeah, it's just really pretty. So it's kind of like, it reminds me of like peasant top style. Um, I got that. Then I found this awesome, I think it's like a bush baby. Is that what they're called? Um, but it says something, Bohol Philippines. I'm, I'm not real sure. And it says something on the side, but the graphic just caught my eye. I just thought that was so cute. It's like this peachy pink color shirt with the black graphic and I love it. And the last thing I got at this store were some Madewell jeans. Um, and I'm really sad that these don't fit me. They're a 28 by 34 and they are kind of low rise, which also isn't my thing anyway. So um, yeah, they're just like a medium wash. Uh, I guess like a, not boot cut it's kind of flare but anyway i just know i found a wool skirt from madewell and it sold on my poshmark like almost instantly and i've just been hearing so many good things about the brand so just wanted to make sure to pick those up so that's all i got at waterfront thrift um let me move this out of the way so the dogs don't get in So my next stop was the good worst is this New Orleans shirt with an alligator and it's embroidered and it says New Orleans, the big easy. It's a size large. Um, if you didn't know, I'm from Louisiana. I'm from central Louisiana, but I went to LSU. I'm not sure why I'm wearing an orange shirt today and not anything LSU, but go Tigers. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love anything New Orleans themed and I just thought this was like really good quality and I like how it's embroidered with the alligator. Um, next, I got this, <laughs> I got this Hard Rock Cafe Rock and Roll Run Chicago and it's from May 22nd, 1994 and it's got some logos on the sleeve. I picked up a few um, Hard Rock Cafe. He's cracking me up. He's been sick, so he's feeling a lot better and I didn't want to put him in his crate, so he's joining us. Um, I picked up some Hard Rock Cafe stuff before and it hasn't really sold. I, I think it's cool. I think it's kind of like memorabilia or whatever, but this is from 1994, so um, and in, re in really good condition. So I feel like somebody might want that. Next, I got another vintage t-shirt and it's just this race car, like NASCAR logos on it. And um, the back just says race team and it's a XL. And I know like racing shirts and stuff like that are popular. So, excuse me, no, oh, excuse me, sit down. So I picked that up. 
this is one of my favorite things I found. It's not vintage or anything, but if you watch Parks and Rec, you know this is Leslie's favorite place in Pawnee. Um, and it just says JJ's Diner, and it has waffles with, of course, whipped cream and strawberries. And it says, um, world famous waffles, Pawnee, Indiana. And this is a size small. I'm probably gonna keep this for myself, but uh, we'll see. Okay, keeping with the um, New Orleans theme, I found an Audubon Zoo since 1885, and this isn't vintage, but it has that kind of vintage look to it. It's just got a lion and those cool colors. Again, like I really want to keep this for myself, but I'll probably list it. Okay, this next one is vintage and it is from 19, 1988. And this is the back. It says Newport Blue. I'm pretty sure, isn't Newport like a cigarette brand? I'm not 100%, but like when I saw the front, I knew this was like 80s, 90s um, color and style. Newport Blue. I know there's like a Newport Beach, but I feel like that's like a cigarette thing but anyway there's no tag in this but it's it's pretty short like I almost feel like it's cropped but it's probably like a large and it's in good condition next I got oh so I checked out and the lady was like you can get one more shirt for I don't remember what the deal was but I was like okay I'm gonna go run and grab one so I got this Harry Potter shirt and I keep saying that I want to um, bleach stuff or dye it like maybe dip dye or I might crop it but I just haven't got around to like trying that out so I figured this may be a cool one to try out because it's not vintage or anything so if I mess it up whatever I'll keep it and I'll wear it and this is a size large which is cute um next is this sweatshirt and this has got to be vintage just like because sometimes people ask me like how do you know and sometimes you can just look at the tags of stuff and you can tell it's just kind of worn out so this is a white crew neck sweatshirt size large and it's got a mercedes on the front and then the back how cool is that it's like a mercedes convertible i just think i just i love this i love it and it doesn't have any stains or anything. I mean, it's a little bit dingy. When I say dingy, it's like the coloring, you know, but I feel like if I just throw it in the wash, this is an awesome find. And I'm pretty sure it was only $3. Love it. Another sweatshirt. I'm a sucker for like, I don't really like hoodies, but I like these oversized um, crew neck. So this is size large. The brand is Headwaters. And it's a, it's a wolf like embroidered on this black sweatshirt. And it says Lone Wolf Lodge. Super cool. What size did I say it was? Large. It's pretty big. Did I get another sweatshirt? I don't think so. Okay. So I mentioned I'm from Louisiana and I did graduate from LSU. Um, so sorry bama fans but uh don't like you um bad blood there this is not an lsu shirt but it's auburn it's got to be auburn because of the colors <laughs> it just says hey alabama and it's got a tiger um sticking his middle paw claw up and i just thought it was funny and i couldn't i like kept coming back to this so this is a size large and yeah don't hurt me. I, just, I don't like Alabama. Uh, next is another vintage t-shirt. I really, I remember these from being a kid. Um, from when I was a kid, from being a kid, from when I was a kid. Please don't get on that. By the way, I do wash everything with vinegar and baking soda. So like, you know, it's okay that he's sniffing on it right now. Um, okay. So I'm pretty sure this glows in the dark and I, like I said, I want to say I remember this from my childhood. This says 1992 Royalty Promotions and I'm going to test this out and see if it glows in the dark, but I just think it's so cool. It doesn't have a tag, but I'm pretty sure it's like a large or an extra large. Good for Halloween. So I think that's it. No, here's another sweatshirt. <laughs> 
All right, so another crew neck sweatshirt. Um, this one is also vintage and the brand is Paris Sport Club Worldwide. It says size two. That's what it looks like. And it just says Paris um, University of Paris, I guess is what that means. But it's like super 90s looking to me just with the colors and like the style with the sleeves being a different color did i say what size this is oh it says a two so i guess it's probably like a small medium all right on to oh, one more t-shirt so this isn't vintage but it's a band tee from the band the decemberists um and it says Spring Tour 2017. And I love this band. Uh, so even if I don't sell this, I'll keep it for myself. It's so crazy to me how like these end up at different Goodwills because I was looking at the closest show and it's Atlanta or Nashville. So I mean, that's not too crazy, but or someone can order it online. I, I don't shop online, so I forget people do that. But anyway, I just um, picked that up probably for myself, but I might list it. Next, I found another vintage OP. So I remember that brand from when I was younger, Ocean Pacific. This is a size large. And at first when I saw it, I was like, okay, that's like a Halloween costume, like ketchup, mustard, um, like in and out. Do they wear these? I don't know. Um, but then I looked on the back and it's from 1987 Ocean Pacific and it's got these like little graphics on the back that says, I can't read what that says, but it's like surfing. So it's like guaranteed hot, the joy of surfing. And I just thought that was cool. Like, I mean, it's from 1987. That's the year I was born. Really neat. And it's in good condition. My pile is getting bigger and bigger. Um, here's another vintage shirt. Cricket Lane is the brand and I can't even see a size on this. But this was in the women's section and it's nice and worn. I mean, I checked it for holes and things like that. I'm, I'm not good at doing that. Like I'll see something and be like, oh, I have to have this. And I get home and wash it and try it on and it's like got a hole or something. It's a real bummer. But it's just this pretty button down, like funky pastel pattern top. It's got shoulder pads, but I'm gonna cut those out. Um, but I love it. Very 80s. Next is this shirt by Insert Coin, and it says it's a unisex fit, size large, and it says foxhound <laughs> electric fox and snake and then it's got this foxhound um patch on the side and it's like this fox holding a a knife and it says special force group i just thought that was a cool like layering piece you could layer it over another graphic tee or um just like a basic white shirt under there then I got this button down by Mine and Bill's Outfitters. It's a size medium. And I just love the pattern and the colors. And it's got like this detail right here. I don't think you can see it, um, but it's like it from the top, it like buttons all the way down. There's like two pockets right here and it like buttons. I don't know, just a cool thing. Oh, and it like buttons in the back. So it's a little bit Western-ish to me, which I like. And it's a medium. Only a few left. So another button down by Angelique. And this is a medium. And I, I just like really like the colors. I think this is a good transition into fall. Um, and it's like got different detail different patterns like embroidered on there so that's cute and last but not least you knew i had to do it it is an animal print button down 
you guys buy these from me so quickly. This is a six petite. The brand is Allison Daily. So it is vintage, um, but I know you guys like this and so do I. So I had to pick it up and I think that's it. Oh, wait, 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 one more shirt. This is from the first place. I forgot to show you guys. I laughed so hard at this. So I saw the rainbow and I, like I said, I love a good graphic tee. I saw the rainbow and I was like, oh, cool. And it's not vintage. It's just the, the canvas brand at size large, but it says Baltimore, Maryland. Hold on. There's more than murder here. And you can't really see that like secondary line right there. Cause it's like on a dark gray shirt. But I just thought that was so funny because so today was one of those great thrifting days. Um, I'm super excited about the things I bought. Um, be looking for them on, like I said, either my Instagram, Poshmark and Depop. So until next time, thank you guys. Mwah.